welcome to another episode of Jacob's House of Rock. And in this episode, I'm just doing a quick little, um, quick little warning video about buying these leveling beams. So these are, you know, fret leveling beams. I got this one from eBay from the seller, which I don't remember their name, but you know, just one of the random generic sellers from China. I'll have the uh, links to that in the description below. And uh, today, unlike most of my episodes where I'm telling you about a product that I've got and why I recommend it, today I'm telling you why I do not recommend getting these. Um, when this first arrived, it looked all fine and dandy, apart from, uh, you know, some of the edges here are kind of rough. But um, on closer inspection, when I actually went to um, use a proper flat tool, so I got a fret rocker, um, also from China, but uh, that one turned out to be really good. Um, don't remember uh, what brand that was, but I got that one from AliExpress. So, so not everything from China is bad. You can get some really good deals on really solid gear and, and equipment and tools from there. But one of the things that I... Um, uh, don't recommend just picking this one up because uh, when when I went and uh, took the tool and went across the top section here, while it's probably fairly straight this way, this way, which is the way it really matters, I guess. I mean, it, okay, it matters both ways actually, but um, this way it also matters a lot, and it was just. It's warped, you can pretty clearly see. And I'm gonna put up a, a couple of uh, photos in the video right now. So hopefully those photos gave you some idea of how warped this thing is and why I don't recommend it because the the, the whole purpose uh, that I got this for is I wanted um, you know my uh, Chickenbacker Rickenbacker 4003 copy base I wanted to sand down some of those frets get them nice and leveled just to get uh, rid of some of that buzz that I was having on there and uh, I really didn't want to spend you know, an extra hundred or so dollars on, or even anything over like 40, I'd say would be like, if, if it was a very quality one, then, you know, maybe I'd spend 40 at most on a proper leveling beam, but you know, they go for like 60, 70, a hundred and, and they just keep going up in price from there. And it's ridiculous because it's just, all, all it is, is just a flat, a machine flat surface, which, um, is something that you'd think humanity would have figured out a way how to mass produce that stuff by now because it's very important to you know construction and everything in general and when you start mass producing stuff the price goes way down and i don't know apparently in like the uh stone business where they uh, make countertops and stuff like that as well as you know glass that stuff is always flat so I'm thinking um, of finding an alternative of how to make a properly flat leveling beam. I'm actually thinking of maybe using this thing and getting some plexiglass, which is like, you know, that clear plastic um, that they use uh, for certain windows and other stuff. And it's usually just a flat sheet of acrylic, but they're, they're usually really flat. So I was thinking maybe attaching a really flat plexiglass to this thing which is almost flat but has enough imperfection and it's just going to screw if you're playing. I mean when you really look down the cross section you can see that it's warped, it's not flat. And you can see that the, the warping is very inconsistent too when you actually put the tool on. It's um it's not just like belled out or belled in, it's got like an actual S sort of curve and an off-center bump and so on the surface it doesn't look too bad apart from apart from like the edges here where you can actually see some of that metal sharp bit in there coming off and really what this is it's just a a, heck, um, a rectangular prism sort of tube really and they've just 
cut it. it it's not designed to be a guitar leveling tool at all but that's what they're selling this as so yeah um any um anything that has that same picture i'd i'd say avoid it because you know there are a lot of sellers that are using the same stock photos of this thing and perhaps some of those are good but um i i wouldn't recommend it Also, there's a lot that, uh, a lot of really short ones they're selling, like, you know, 15, 20 centimeters long, which, uh, for, for you Americans out there and people who are, are not using the metric system, that would be like, I don't know, six or seven inches at most, really. Um, and it's, it's, they're, they're going to be pretty useless for anything that you're trying to do on a guitar neck, unless you maybe leveling a ukulele so um i wanted this thing to, to level a bass so i got the longest one i could find which was only 50 centimeters so that's still probably not long enough for a bass this is like a, actually actually a pretty good size for a uh, electric guitar but um yeah when you put it up next to a bass it's not it's not bad actually this one would just about do but ideally it should cover all the frets. Now I'm no expert or anything and um, I've never leveled frets before but I've looked up a good deal about it and I'm uh, hoping to uh, get some practice in really soon. So if you guys have any ideas about uh, any ways of making a really affordable sort of uh, just s simple ideas for, for things that you can use as a perfectly flat surface to use as a leveling beam, please let me know. I've heard of things like, um, uh, what are they called? Spirit levels, that's it, the ones for the little bubbles. Uh, some people use those. I haven't been able to uh, source a decent one, at least for a decent price, that would make it uh, any more worth getting than an actual expensive level. So I'm really leaning towards, uh, you know, that plexiglass idea, or maybe even somehow sourcing some perfectly flat marble or something like that, some marble off cuts or. God only knows what, but uh, if you guys know of anything, especially if you're in the Brisbane area, and even if you just have a level that you're not using, then I would really, uh, it would really help me out, because <laughs> uh, I, I want to start uh, learning how to do that and uh, help my instruments play the best they can, because when it comes to cheap instruments, which is, you know, all, all of my guitars, this is excluding my basses, but... Um, all of my guitars are under the like 250 mark price there in fact some of them um, some some of my uh, favorite guitars <laughs> that I have is like my Squire Strat I got that one for $30 which is brilliant deal for one of those things and I've been modding the hell out of it and getting it up to uh, really good standards and stuff but my other guitars are actually really cheap as well um, it's, it's just the, the difference between the high-end guitars and the cheap guitars are pretty much just the, at least the, the difference that really matters is the frets being, how, how well they're leveled and crowned and all that stuff. Uh, everything else is just, you know, I guess the electronics and the hardware are other things you can look into, but usually, aside from the f uh, frets, those things are, there's a lot of, um, People are much but much better versed in how to, you know, change those out and make those better. But what really makes a guitar feel right and play well is the, the neck. So, yeah, thanks for watching this quick little video. Uh, I'll have some uh, more cool content up for you guys really soon. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to level that neck and do a video uh, about that for you guys and how I did it. But um, chances are, if I'm using this thing, it will definitely not be the surface that it came with. So, um, yeah, the reason I'm actually doing this as a video is because usually I'm one of the people who avidly uh, write reviews for everything they buy on eBay, because they have that feature now for a while, as well as AliExpress. So I always 
I always write uh, as good a, a review as I can, adding the pictures and everything. But for some reason on this particular product, they didn't have that option. So I don't know why, but, but um, I figured that I need to get the word out there. Now, um, another thing to note, uh, I'm not going to uh, totally, you know, try and bash on the seller or anything. They said, they seemed to imply that it was a uh, shipping issue where their, their response was basically that they're going to look into improving their packaging or something. But no, this this is not something that happened during shipping. This is just a, not a quality... This is not a leveling tool at all. That's not what this piece of metal was engineered as. This was just a girder that they cut and packed and sold as a guitar fret leveling tool. So, um, but I'm not going to bash on them because I did end up getting a full refund for it. Um, granted, they wanted first, I had to ask and be persistent about it for a while because they did first want like a, to give me a 20% refund with the clause of that I'd be able to keep this thing. Then they went up to 50% and then I just was persistent and then they were just uh, uh, just like, uh, okay, we'll give you a full refund, no need to ship it back to us, which, <laughs> so I, I, I get, end up having this piece of useless crap and my refund, so, whoops, sorry about that. With that, I will say over and out, uh, keep on rocking, people, peace out.